This is my quick review of Manjaro 24 Winsy. That's W Y N S D E Y. It was announced via the Manjaro forum, actually. I don't even see it announced on their website yet. But it says, since we released Vulcan in December 2023, we worked hard to get the next release of Manjaro but, uh, out there. We call it Winsy. This is our first release, which comes with Plasma 6. So that's the difference. It's got Plasma 6 installed. It already looks really sweet. I love this, how the bar kind of just floats there and extends to just about the edge of the screen. has a little bit of a border around it. That's really cool. Um, I've always liked Manjaro, how it runs on my hardware. There's just something about it. It just, everything runs really smoothly. And I, I probably said this in a previous video, but like when I scroll and open up a PDF, it just seems like everything runs buttery smooth. And I really like that. And I find myself going back to it to try it often. So this Plasma Edition, it says it comes with the latest Plasma 6.0 series and KDE Gear 24.02. It brings exciting new improvements to your desktop. So we've already talked about Plasma 6 before. Um, so this, this is it's pretty cool. Let's just kind of poke around and just see what it, what it has. It has the Manjaro launcher right here. It says launch at start. You can just easily toggle that off if you like. It's very out of the way and very just nice and clean. Let's click this little button down here. And we're going to go to, we see that we got favorites that are just automatically there. Firefox browser. System settings in the Dolphin file browser. We got under development, we got Kate, which is a text editor that you often see in KDE, right? That's a common one. That's, the, I guess, the standard, right? Um, user feedback console. Under education, we got LibreOffice Math. It did give me the, uh, the option to install LibreOffice, or I think it was called FreeOffice. It was, it was two versions of Office you can pick from during the install. So I just picked LibreOffice because that seems to be the most common for a Linux distribution. For graphics, we got Gwenview, LibreOffice Draw, Ocular, and Scanlight. Scan I don't recall that one. Let's, let's open that up. Okay, cool. So you plug in your scanner and it finds the device and it will install it. I don't have a scanner, so that's interesting though. It's really cool that that is there. Under Internet, we got Firefox Browser. We got the Avahi VNC Server Browser and the SSH Server Browser, KDE Connect. Uh, I think that works better with Android, I'm assuming, than it does with Apple since Android is Linux-based and, uh, you know, is a little more open than <laughs> Apple. So KDE Connect SMS. We got Multimedia, Elisa for the music player. We got all these other things. VLC Media Player, out of the box. I love it. I always love to see that. Uh, Office. I find myself needing very little when I run Manjaro. Just like right out of the box, I'm able to just start browsing and just, I mean, any Linux distribution, you can just start browsing. But I feel like on Manjaro, it's just... There's just something about it. I cannot explain what it is. It runs really well. Um, if you can see that pop-up on my screen, that was a music software. i got to get that out of the way. So anyways, uh, Ocular, that's a document viewer. That's that's also un installed under the Office uh, menu. We got Add Remove Software, Manjaro Notification, KDE Settings. I, I do like the theming that they got going on, just like this plain theme that they got that just... Feels like Manjaro. I, I like it. I forget what the theme is called, but maybe we can go check it out under the um, set system settings. Let's go check that out right now. Colors and themes. Okay, I think it's just called Breath then. Okay, there's Breath Dark, Breath Light. Okay, cool. And let's try Breath Dark. Let's apply it. Ooh, cool. It looks really nice, actually. Everything still pops. Let's go back to breath, the regular one. All right. Okay, cool. So let's close that. Let's go back to system. Or settings, I'm sorry. Okay, I think we're done under settings. Let's go to system now. Add or remove software, Avahi Zero Conf Browser, Dolphin File Manager. Let's check that out. I can't remember if the default is single click. It's not, thankfully. <laughs> I'm really thankful that it's not a single click KDE. I like being able to double click on a folder to show that I intend to go in that folder <laughs> and not accidentally go in that folder. Okay, cool. So that's the Dolphin file browser. It looks really nice. The icons look great. So back to system. We got HTOP, Process Viewer, 
Info Center, Console, K System Log, K Wallet Manager, Manjaro Hello, that's the one we disabled. So if you accidentally disabled it and you want to bring it back, you can. Let's click it. You can see right there, I've opened it twice because I am a goofball. Let's go to System. You got the Menu Editor, System Monitor, Time Shift right out of the box. I love it. My favorite system restorer. I love Time Shift. Yeah, Quake is a drop-down terminal similar to how the Quake console would come down if you ever played the video game Quake where you hit the tilde key and you can bring down the console. If you're old like me and you remember that, it is really cool. Uh, utilities, Arc, Emoji Selector, File Light. This is not light on the on the um, features. we got lots of programs here. K-Write Text Editor. Can't say I remember that. But, oh yeah, I, I do remember this. I just didn't remember it was called K-Write. Okay, cool. Let's close that. We know what text editors do. Go back to utilities, software token, K write, spectacle, screenshot capture. I love spectacle. It's a great screenshot capture utility. Let's let's open it up. You can do a rectangular region, select something, and then you can notate it. It's just almost like, you know, um, Snagit uh, software in Windows, but like a free version of it with some, you know, more limited features, but very, very powerful. I can blur stuff. want to make it like private like that. That's so cool. So all in all, I love Manjaro Linux and I love what they're doing with with things. Uh, this version 24 Wednesday, uh, Wednesday, W-Y-N-S-D-E-Y. So I mean, maybe it's just pronounced Wednesday, but Wednesday. Kind of cool. So thanks a lot for watching. Please be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't, and I will continue to keep making videos like this. I find it very fun, and I get a lot of good input from people on here, and it's a really nice community. Thanks again.